keep getting caught in the blanket. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and if you saw that intro and you thought it was awesome, I love it so much. Thanks to my friend Finn for making it for me. Um, I just love it. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, okay, let's get started. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some study tips. The reason I'm making this video is because I have finals this week, so I felt like it was a good idea to research some study tips. I found some really good ones, so I'm planning to share them with you. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure you're wearing really comfortable clothes. Here I'm wearing some sweatpants and a t-shirt. When you're studying, you want to be as comfortable as you can. Next you're going to want to pick a comfortable place for studying. Here I'm using the floor. I always study on the floor. I never use my desk, which is kind of weird. But I feel like I have a lot more room on the floor and I get to move around and be comfortable. I would not recommend using your bed because whenever I do that, I always fall asleep on myself and it's never good. Also, turn off all distractions like laptops and cell phones unless you're actually using them to study. Because I know teachers have websites, you might be on there, but if you're going on YouTube every five seconds, just close it and put it away. <laughs> also listen to music. It helps to focus on to what you're doing rather than anything else that's happening around you. You're in your own little bubble when you're listening to some music. Um, if you find that distracting, try listening to classical music or music without lyrics because classical music is also proven to help focus. Another tip is having a study buddy. Um, you can study with your best friend, quiz each other, um, do all that stuff. But make sure you're actually studying because a lot of times I go to my friend's house, we'd say we'd be doing homework, but we'd actually not do homework because we'd be busy like oh look at this post on Instagram but save that for a different time if you actually need one study buddy make sure you're actually gonna study with your buddy don't forget to eat snacks because it keeps your body filled with energy um, just have a bowl of snacks next to you and a cup of tea or whatever you like to drink because don't forget to eat eating is good also I bet all of you have seen that trick that people use where they're like, oh, lay down a few snacks on your book so when you reach that point you're gonna get a snack. And that would not work out for me because I'd end up eating all the snacks anyways. Take breaks. Per every one minute of studying you should take 30 minutes of break and you can exercise, you could just watch TV, you could lay down, take a quick power nap, but just make sure you take breaks, don't all just cram it into one because you need some time for your brain to process what you just learned. Organize your notes and ask your teacher if there are any extra study guides you can use or anything. Ask her for any tips on how to study for her test because she's the one who made the test. So just bookmark the, your notes in your notebook. Um, do as many study guides as you can. Look online on your teacher's website. They'll probably have a ton of stuff on there to help you. Okay, those are all my tips for you. Good luck studying for your test. Good luck studying for finals. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> and then I'll know that the square root of 7 is 49. No, it's not. I'm kidding. Oh my god, I am so stupid. The square root of 7 is not 49. The square root of 49 is 7. <laughs> oh god, that's embarrassing. <laughs>